everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, round two of the Omega Red and Cosmic Ghost Rider Arena is over. Cosmic Ghost Rider was the basic champion, Omega Red was the featured. Uh, I have both of the champions, so I didn't go for any of them. However, I did go for the 5,000 five-star shards, which is what I usually do. All right, so we're going to take a look here. As you can see, the new arena has already begun. I've already run my five stars in the four star featured. I'm going for the four star uh, Silver Centurion. Uh, the five star, I'm still just going for the 5,000 five star shards for round one. I will go for him in round two. But I've run my six stars uh, about twice in this arena so far. I've already run them this morning. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any friends. Uh, I know that he went pretty low round one, so no telling. All right, so first off, you got the three star. The three star you can get for just doing the top milestone of any of the featured arenas. And I do all of them, so I get the three star three times over, but I already had him. The uh, four star, um, I have the four star. I got the four star when... Uh, he was a uh, featured, so I don't go for basics these days because I always get them when they're uh, feature champions. All right, I'm not sure why I don't have any rewards there. I might have accidentally grabbed them. Um, <clears throat> but then you have the four star featured here, just went for milestones, and yep, and we got our 5,000 five star shards and the 300 six star shards. All right, so going from left to right. Let's start with the Cosmic Ghost Rider uh, four star. And even the four star Cosmic Ghost Rider, let's ignore those names for now. Uh, he is a good champion. He's a lot of fun and he can put out a lot of damage, even the four star. So I know a lot of people who did not have him as a four or a five star went for the four star. And because of what Kabam has done in the past with the variants, having the four star is going to be good because <clears throat> you never know when you're going to uh, encounter content that only allows you to use your four stars. They've already done it before. They'll do it again. Uh, Gray Wolf, congratulations, my friend. So you want to have a diverse roster, not just with the uh, top rarity. But you also want to have a pretty strong three and four star roster, even a two star roster and a one star roster. Um, I have pretty much all the one star champions. I have a lot of the two stars, but there are a lot of exclusives that I don't have. All of my two stars are max level. Um, not max sig, but they're max level. All three stars are maxed and max sig. Uh, four stars, they're not maxed, but I have a lot of maxed out four stars, more than a lot of people do. And I'm still leveling them up. Uh, just recently, uh, a couple of uh, level ups ago, uh, Black Gamer, congratulations. Um, <clears throat> what I did, I had about 12 or 13 uh, tech class catalysts, um, T4s in my overflow. And I didn't want them to just go to waste. And I didn't have anyone that I really wanted to rank up during that level up. You know, I had gotten some new um, six-star champions that I was going to level up to, you know, 25, but I wasn't going to rank them. So that level up, I went ahead and just leveled up my new six-stars to 25. And then I went to my four-stars. And I ranked up, I think, three different uh, four stars to rank five. Uh, I think I did um, Dark Hawk. I did uh, Doc Ock and uh, Guillotine 2099, I believe. Um, and I may have done another one. I can't remember exactly. Um, but all that uses up for me is the uh, T4 basics. I didn't want to use any T2 alphas taking up a tech champion that I really didn't want to and wasn't going to use. Uh, I was hoping in my last uh, six star opening that I would get a warlock as a six star. He would have gone right up. He would have used up all of those resources easily. 
Um, and I also have a tech rank up gem. Uh, Kabam, their RNG does this, and uh, it'll get on these uh, what I call clumping runs, where you just get the same resource, uh, the same class, and and pretty much everything you're getting. So I have a one to two six star rank up gem. I also have just recently opened up my uh, four to five. Uh, five star rank up gem, it was tech. Then I keep getting tech catalyst. Even after I used up uh, all of my, uh, well, most of the uh, T4 uh, tech catalyst, uh, I, I was going to, I wanted to rank up another champion. Uh, and you guys saw that. It was, uh, if you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it. Uh, but take a look at my latest mystery rank up theater. Um, I think it was, uh, episode 26 or so. Um, but take a look at that and what I had to do to be able to rank that champion up because I didn't have enough of the class catalyst to do it. I started opening up my T4 class catalyst crystals. So I'm saying to myself, all right, I have a lot of tech in my overflow still. So what I'm going to do is I will open these up one at a time and I'll stop when I get a tech. So I go ahead and open up one. It's a tech. And I'm like, well, that doesn't work. I, I'm still trying to get, you know, class catalyst to, to rank up this champion. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll, I'll open a second one up. It was tech. I'm like, wow. I open up a third one. Yes, it was tech. I open up a fourth one. Can you guess? Yes, it was tech. I got like four or five techs in a row. Uh, Black Gamer, congratulations, my friend. And I was just sitting there shaking my head. And, and now I'm mad. Now I'm upset. And I'm like, no, I'm going to keep on doing this until I get over this clumping uh, thing here. So I kept opening and I started getting some other uh, classes and I didn't care what other classes I got as long as it wasn't tech, but I actually maxed out and now I have another class in my overflow. So I have to uh, think about using those up, uh, perhaps next level up. I don't know. Uh, but we finally did get uh, the catalyst that we were looking for. So <clears throat> that was an interesting experience and I would like to say it was unique, but it's not. Uh, that happens often where you want one class and you open up, I've opened up 30 of those and gotten one or two of the class that I needed. So, you know, it happens. Um, this time it was tech. Uh, the, another time it was a different class where this happened, um, where I just kept getting that same class. I think it was mystic. Uh, can't remember. All right. Well, anyway, so four star featured Omega Red, still a beast. Uh, if you did not have an Omega Red, I had recommended uh, on my stream that you pick this up. Uh, I think I also mentioned it in my last uh, video that you can max out the four star easier now than you used to be able to. Uh, I have four star generic sig stones just ready to expire. I have to sell them uh, because all of my four stars currently are max sig. So I'm going for this new champion so that I'll have another champion that I can take up during a tech advancement since he's a tech and uh, also awaken and dump a whole bunch more uh sigs but i won't be dumping the the um, generics i'll be dumping all of the tech that i have first and then whatever i have left over when there's an item use on i'll use the uh generics all right so that was the four star um omega red now for the final one i hope i didn't miss one it's uh, early in the morning here, so I'm kind of half sleep here. Uh, but <laughs> interesting. <clears throat> Not going to mention anything about that situation. All right. Anyway, 
Let's uh, keep going here. Um, I think I hit all of the uh, arenas. If I didn't, that's fine. Uh, we'll just uh, move on because I'm not going to go back and do any of that. So this one, as you can see, I put up 23 million uh, this time. And I didn't run through my all of my six stars the last time. Uh, but this arena, I actually forgot to run my six stars one time. Uh, I normally run them in the morning and then again in the afternoon, but I only ran them in the afternoon. And I was like, oh man. So I had a choice. I could run my five stars because I don't run my five stars, but um, in this arena, uh, unless I'm really behind, I just use my six stars. So I could run my five stars in this arena, one run to make up for. Uh, the six stars that I missed, or if I get up early enough, I can just run them again uh, Thursday morning, and that way they would be ready by the time I'm ready for them in the afternoon, because I don't run the six stars right when the arena starts. I run my five stars first, then my six stars, so I have a little bit of a leeway there, and so that's what I did. I uh, I noticed that I was at 23, and I did not want to accidentally get Omega Red, so I made sure to stop at 23. Uh, but he is an awesome champion. I am still using my 5-star over my 6-star, who I just recently got awakened. So 6-star is SIG 20, the 5-star is SIG 200. And the five star does more damage than the six star right now. But if I can dupe Omega Red a little bit more, I don't really want to invest any resources into him because I need prestige. And because I don't buy prestige, uh, because at the highest levels, that's pretty much what it is. You, you buy your prestige. Um, and I don't do that. I'm behind the you know, big spenders or even the moderate spenders, I'm pretty far behind. So I have to be very, very careful uh, as to who I rank up and how I spend my resources. Uh, so I can't just dump a bunch into Omega Red, even though he is awesome. Um, I have to hold out and invest in those champions that are going to increase my prestige. And I don't have a ton of of champions that will do that. Uh, ben Riley, what do you know? 188, congratulations, man. Uh, apologies if I've missed anybody. Um, it, like I said, it's early and I may have missed you. If I did miss you, I'm sorry. Leave a comment below. That's gonna be it for the leaderboards. We only get to see the top 200 in this arena, particularly the top 300 get the champion. So there's 100 people that did not get on the leaderboards but they did get the champion so if you're one of those leave a comment let us know uh he went for 34 million round one uh that's what i heard anyway and i don't know yet what he went for round two whether he went up whether he went down that's why i didn't want to go too far uh above my usual 22 23 million for those uh shards because i didn't want to pick him up by accident I'd rather have the 5,000 uh, five-star shards and the 300 six-star shards. Really all about those six-star shards. All right? But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.